Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. How to configure and manage vSphere networking using vSphere standard switch part one. What is vSphere networking? A vSphere networking provides information about configuring and managing virtual networking for VMware vSphere. Using vSphere networking, we can network virtual machines in the same way that we do with physical machines. We can build complex networks within a single ESXi server or across multiple ESXi server. The key networking components of any virtual infrastructure are virtual adapters, which is used by individual virtual machines, and virtual switches, which connects virtual machines to each other. In part one of this lab, we will be reviewing existing network configuration, which comes up after fresh installation of any of your ESXi host, and navigating through various vSphere networking configurable options. So let's get started. So let's log into our vCenter server. Click on H5 client of our vCenter server. Provide SSO username, administrator, at the rate of vSphere.local, SSO password of our vCenter server. Click on login. And now, as you could see, we are successfully logged into our vCenter server. And this client, what do you see here, is a new client which is HTML5 based. Now, in left navigation pane, if you see, we have a vCenter server, vcc-018.govmlab.local. We have created a data center, govmlab-dc, and there are two ESXi hosts, esx-018.govmlab.local and esx-02a.govmlab.local have been part of this govmlab data center or DC. Now, there are two VMs, Web01 and Web02, running on ESXi host 01A. Now, let's log into our ESXi host and let's review the, the network configuration or virtual network configuration of our ESXi host. So, click on ESX host, go to configure, and there you see in left, left and left side a networking section. So, this is the section which we use to configure or manage our ESXi host networking. So click on networking, click on virtual switches. So this is, this is a section where we review or we create a virtual switches. So what is a virtual switch? A virtual switch or a stand vSphere standard switch is very similar to a physical ethernet switch. Virtual switches allow virtual machines on the same ESX server host to communicate with each other using the same physical networking protocols without the need of any additional networking hardware. So that's what virtual switch is all about. Now, when you click on virtual switch, you see a couple of options out here, add networking. If you want to create a new virtual switch, you can click on add networking, refresh, will go and refresh your host networking systems. If you want to migrate your VM color network adapter to the distributed switch, you can select this option. Here with this tab, we go and manage our physical adapters. Here you could go and configure your, you could go and edit your network settings and here we remove our network configuration or standard switch. Now below pane, if you see, we have a port groups. So as of by default, when you, when, when you install ESXi or ESXi hypervisor on any of your bare metal hardware, you by default, you will have a one virtual switch created named as vSwitch0 and you will have a two port groups created by default. The first port group is a named as management network and another port group is named for named as VM network. So what exactly port group is? Port group you can think of as a template for configuring policies like VLAN, traffic shipping, victim, etc. in your virtual environment. Each port group on a standard switch is identified by a unique network label. So now in this Configuration, if you see, we, if you see, we have a management network port group configured with no VLAN ID, but there is a one active port and it, it is connected to uplink VMNIC0. Similarly, VM network has, is, is config, VM network port group is configured with, without any VLAN ID, so there is no VLAN configured on this part, on both of these port groups. There is no active port as such on VM network. What does that mean? It means there is no VM at this point of time connected to this VM network port group. And the uplink, this port group is also use the uplink VMNIC 
zero. So that's what pretty much is all about, about your virtual switch options. Let's go to the VM kernel adapters. So VM kernel adapter, if you see VM kernel adapter are also a virtual adapter, but these are para these are para virtualized adapter developed by VMware itself, which directly interact with the VM kernel networking layers and provide connectivity to host. This VM kernel link is also used by the TCP IP stack that provide very specific services like vMotion, fault tolerance, replication, network, NFS, or iSCSI traffic. So this kind, if, if you really want to configure these kind of services, you have to configure VM kernel network adapter. So if you see VM kernel network adapter, so by default, we have a VM kernel network adapter created as VM NIC vmk0 the network label so this vm kernel adapter is mapped with boot group management network it is connected to virtual switch v switch 0 with the ip address range of 20.20.20.11 tcp ip stack, stack it is consuming default tcp ip stack it is not configured with vmotion provisioning fault tolerance all of these features are disabled for this particular vm network adapter but if you see the management services are enabled for this VM kernel network adapter, which means this VM kernel network adapter is providing connectivity to our ESXi host. And if you have observed, the IP address of this VM kernel network adapter is 20.20.20.11. And this is the same IP address through which we have, we are accessing our ESXi host. So this is the management IP. If you want to add networking, if you want to add a new VM kernel network adapter, you can click on this tab, which will allow, which will take you to the networking wizard. Refresh if you want to refresh host networking system. Add it if you want to edit any of the network existing network configuration and remove. Click on remove if you want to delete this VM kernel network adapter. Now below, if you see, it gives gives us information about our VM kernel network adapter. So properties it shows it is. Connected to management network port group, there is no VLAN ID configured for this VM kernel network adapter. TCP IP stack, it is using a default TCP IP stack. It is not configured for any of the TCP IP networks or VM, VM kernel network services like vMotion, fault tolerance, application, etc. Management services are enabled. So it is purely used for, as of now, it is used only for manage, providing management network connectivity to our ESXi host. IPv4 setting, if you look, DSCP is disabled. So we have, we are providing a static IP to our VM kernel network adapter. The IP address assigned is 20.20.20.11. It is the same IP address through which we are accessing our ESXi host. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Default gateway is 20.20.20.1. DNS server is 20.20.20.1. IPv6 settings, we have not enabled IPv6 settings. So DSCP is disabled. And this is the default IPv6 addresses etc. The next setting you could see the MAC address assigned to this VM kernel network adapter is 00C294284D1. The MTU configured for this VM kernel network adapter is 1500. And if you look at the policies, so we can configure below these policies secure, we can configure security, traffic shaping, teaming and failover policies for our virtual adapter as well as for our virtual machines. So as of now, we have not configured any of the network policies. These are the default policies, which gets configured as when you create any of the network adapter. So that's what pretty much about our VM kernel adapters. Then let's go to the physical adapters. So physical adapters also referred as uplinks in a, in a vSphere networking, which serve as a bridge between virtual and physical networks. So here you could see we have a device named as VMNIC0. This is the name of the network adapter. Then we have a speed of 10 GB. So this is a 10, 10 gig network adapter. This is a configurable speed and duplex of the network adapter. The switch section shows the, whether this network adapter is associated with a standard switch or distributed switch. This is the MAC address of our physical network adapter. Observed IP range defines the IP addresses that the network adapter is likely to have access to. Wake on LAN supported. No, we don't have any wake on LAN supported in our physical network adapter. SRIV is not supported. And that's what pretty much all about our physical network adapter configuration. If you want to add a new network adapter, you can always click on the add networking or refresh, always go in, refresh the host networking 
system. If you want to make any changes, select your network adapter, click on edit to modify network adapter settings. If you click on your VMX0 below you below section, you could review all of the network details. So this adapter type is VMX Net3 virtual Ethernet controller named as VMX0. This is the PCI ID of the network adapter and the driver is NVMX Net3. This is again a virtual driver designed by VMware. The status, it is very important to make sure that your, your status of a physical adapter is connected. Actual speed is 10 gig, full duplex mode. Configurable speed is also 10 gig with full duplex mode. This is the IP range which is which what this adapter is going to support. SRIV status, we don't, it doesn't support SRIV. CDP and link led discovery protocol is not available on this physical network adapter. That's what pretty much about your physical network options. Then let's go to the TCP IP configuration. So TCP IP configuration, if you see, we have a three default TCP IP stack. The, the first one is default TCP IP stack. Default TCP IP stack, is used for providing network connectivity or management connectivity to our ESXi host. And if you could see, there's a one VM kernel network entity which is connected, which is exercising this default TCP IP stack. And this network adapter is nothing, it is our VM kernel zero network adapter. This is the gateway IP, DNS server, IP, etc. Provisioning, provisioning, TCP IP stack can be exercised for provisioning services like if you want to clone any of your vm or if you want to replicate any of your vm and vmotion tcp ip stack can be used for exercising vmotion services for example if you want to migrate a vm from one host to another host you can use this dedicated stack which would be serving vmotion services so this concludes our lab for reviewing vsphere networking configuration and navigating through various configurable options of vSphere networking. In part two of this lab, we will discuss about creating virtual switches, boot groups, and enabling virtual machines for vSphere networking. Thank you.